you've got questions, well, we've got answers and we have the man to answer them. Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. It's good to be with you, Bob. Ooh, I got a good one in my inbox. Let me All see right. if I can fetch it out of here. It goes like this. I'm a small business owner who wants to sell my business. Can I put the business assets into an LLC and transfer the LLC to a Nevada trust to avoid state taxes on the sale of the business? Mm. So this is one of those questions is asking about something called a DAPT, a domestic asset protection trust, effectively a self-settled trust, which means you give your own property into a trust and usually you retain uh, rights to, to the usage of those dollars. And there are a bunch of different states that offer these, not every state does. Now, one of the reasons that people tend to want to use these is that it's an attempt to get out of state taxation. If you're able to shift the asset into a state that has no state income tax, now you're able to potentially insulate yourself from the taxes associated with those assets. Again, at least on the state level, not on the federal level. But if your net worth is high enough, you know, or your income is going to be high enough, that can be a, a very valuable move. Now, in this particular case, the answer really depends um, on a lot of different factors. But one of the big one is where you, you live right now. Some states have effectively said, we don't really care if you're putting money into one of these things. We're going to treat it, if you're a resident of our state, as though it's still a part of your income for, for the state we live in. And so it's not actually going to help you at all. So without knowing a lot more about this individual, where they live and all sorts of different things, it's impossible for us to say. But it is a worthwhile question uh, or a worthwhile question to ask. Right. And and regardless of where the LLC is domiciled, right, or incorporated, right, it could be incorporated in Delaware and domiciled uh, in some other state and et cetera, et cetera, right? Yeah, what you end up with is potentially a, uh, well, there's really a few things here. First off, if you're connected to a number of different states because you have a an LLC in one place, but the trust in another, you are leaving yourself exposed to different states' laws. And as long as you can kind of be connected to those states, every time you leave you know, a little bit of a connection arm, you leave open the possibility that a state's rules may kind of require you to pay some tax there. So a lot of the times you may end up in a, in a place where you have the LLC in the same location as the trust, or you may simply move the business. Uh, you, you might create the LLC in a, uh, in a state that has very favorable rules. This is where not only do you need a knowledgeable trust attorney, but you need a good business attorney. Sometimes it can be the same person or same firm, but many times it's bringing together a number of professionals to, to pull something like this off. Yeah. Well, I trust we answered the reader's question and I trust other readers might want to come to us for some help. Maybe. I don't know. That's good. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's the question we should ask. Yeah. I don't know. Well, if the answer to Depends. that question is yes, you're certainly welcome to do so. Email Bob and I at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. And Bob and I look forward to answering your questions real soon.